uh, I want to do a few videos about Air Studio, and the reason why I want to do these videos is first because I am learning how to code in Air Studio, and I think doing these videos will help me to fix what I'm learning. But also, I think uh, what I already know can help others to learn how to code in R. So I think these videos might be helpful. Well, let's see what we will see in this video. We'll, we will see a little bit about the interface of R and then we will see about uh, creating project and scripts and about setting or your working directory, about creating variables, about plotting graphs, and how to use help in R. So let's let's start. Uh, here is the interface of the software, the interface, and you have four basic windows. And uh, here you have your script. You can have several scripts open. And it's where you write your code. And when you execute your code, it appears here in the console. So I will say, I will print uh, hello world very creative, right? Uh, so, I wrote the code here, it was executed here on the console, and uh, I have my environment, my environment shows all the variables I have created, here is the history, so it shows all the code that I wrote and I executed, or I ran. Uh, this window down here is, has the files. When you just open your RStudio, it will show your working directory, but you can uh, change the folder, you can create a new folder, you can do a lot of things here. here the plots is where everything that you plot on Air Studio, everything will appear here. You can make your plot as an image, as a PDF. You can cop. Here you have uh, a tab for packages. Air has several packages and they are very useful to help you to solve the problems you want to solve using Air. And uh, the packages are created for, by everybody around the world. People are right now creating and making packages better. And you can find online uh, hundreds of packages in there. And you have a list here. It's very useful. That's my library. I don't remember of getting all these packages, but they are here in my library. Anyway, uh, here is the help. You have your home page for help, and you have sources, manual, and a lot of things to help you. And that's basically all the interface of R or the basic part of the interface of R Studio. Now let's see a little bit about project. Project is the, it's like your warehouse. Everything that you are doing will be saved in your project. So your scripts here will be saved in your project, in your environment, which the variables you created and the value and the values that you attributed to its variable, they will be they will be saved in in the project, the history, everything. I have a project named Air Studio Introduction, and now I will 
create a script inside uh, this project. So I will go in save as and then I will call it introduction one. So now I have a script it's saved inside my project and I can save as many scripts as I want inside my project and every time I open my project it will open uh, every all the scripts I have and all the variables with the values that each variable has so I can keep going from where I stop that's the idea of the project you save everything there and then you stop and then when you when I start working again in your project you can keep going from where you stopped so uh, let's see now how we set a work directory. Uh, I can set as a work directory the folder I am now just uh, from the settings here. And if I want to set a different page, I will just go to that uh, if I want to set a different folder I just go to that folder and then I come here and set as a working directory and then I can go to my work directory and then it shows it goes inside the folder that I have set as my working directory another way of setting a working directory is using the function set wd so it's set working directory and then you give the path and the path for for the folder must be inside quotation marks otherwise it doesn't work so i run it and now my working directory is the folder r studio introduction so I will click here and go to working directory. It goes inside the, the, the folder. Well, now let's create a, a few variables. So let's create a var1 equal to 1, 3, 5, 7. And then I execute. Oh, I always when you make a mistake, when you forget something, R will show you an error message here in the console. So you you should always keep an eye here to see why you are getting stuck. And the reason here is because I forgot this C here. Always when I create a variable, it must be the name of the variable, equal uh, C parentheses and then the values or the value I want to give to the variable. Actually, I want to call this variable var1 and now I, will, I run it and then the variable appears here in my environment. Now I will create another variable, var2 equal to another numbers uh, let's say two four six eight I will run it and now I have two variables in another video we will see more about the types of variable but that's basically how you create variables you could uh, create a variable with text so you could say t e equal to and let's say uh, hello world again again and then one thing that is very 
interesting is that I created the variable te in this script, but I can call the variable here so I can say print te is in my environment. So I print and it prints here hello world. So any variable that I create in one script, I can use in any part of my project. So the variables are not limited to one script. You can use one variable that you have in any of the scripts you have. Now let's plot. Let's use the two variables that we created to plot. When you, when you call the function plot, all that you need is, and it's showing here, you need two arguments, two basic arguments, values for x and values for uh, y. So I will say that x is my var1 and y is equal my var2, and then I plot. You can see it plotted four dots with the values of the variable. Uh, we can make some changes here. For example, well, let's let's use the help for that. So I come here. I search for plot and. Err will show me how to use the function. So uh, the main arguments or the basic arguments I need is x and y, and then it has a description of a lot of other arguments. Another very useful argument is uh, the type of plot I want, so I can have points, lines, a lot of other things. Uh, let's try stair steps. So I write here type equal s, and here it's with quotation marks, so for the function to work we need to use this argument with quotation marks. Another useful argument is the label for the axis. So let's give a title for the x, let's give a label for the x-axis. Let's say uh, x lab is equal to, and again you need quotation marks. Uh, the title for the x axis here and then let's do the same thing for the for the y axis and let's run it So now we have a different uh, graph with steps, and I can come here and uh, save, or I can copy to the clipboard, and I can change the size of the the image so if I copy it now I I have it in my clipboard well we cover all the talks for this video thank you for watching if you like it give your like and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video bye